Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Quran Weekly. This is Abdul Nasser Jangda coming back to you with another installment of Stories of the Prophets. Today we're going to be talking about Harun alayhi salam. Harun alayhi salam is one of the prophets in the Quran who is mentioned most of the time in tandem with his brother Musa alayhi salam. A little bit of detail about Harun alayhi salam that we find information from different narrations and different sources of information is that Harun alayhi salam who was the actual biological brother of Musa alayhi salam and also a lot of narrations mention that he was probably older than Musa alayhi salam like a year older than Musa his his brother. Now to talk about Harun alayhi salam, you do obviously end up mentioning Musa alayhi salam because they're mentioned together in the Quran. How did Harun alayhi salam actually come to be a prophet, be selected for prophethood? What was the means of that? Of course, Allah created him to be a prophet, selected him to be a prophet, and meant for him to be a prophet. But what was the means of that? What was the path to that? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to Musa alayhi salam and granted him prophethood, Musa alayhi salam made this powerful dua to Allah that is mentioned in the Quran. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassil li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. It's a very powerful, beautiful dua. Might just do a Quran weekly video on that one later inshallah. But he goes on to say, وَجَعَلْ لِي وَزِيرًا مِنْ أَهْلِي he says, oh Allah, give me an aid, give me a helper from my family, somebody I can trust. Harun akhi, my brother Harun would be great. Ushtud bihi azri, strengthen my back, like, like strengthen me through him. Provide him to me as support. And what's very interesting is azr refers to the lower back. So just like when you lift something heavy and you put on like a back brace, back support. So he says, make Harun my back support so I can lift this great weight that, oh Allah, you have entrusted me with. Ushtud bihi azri wa ashrikhu fi amri. Make him a partner in this mission of mine. So that we may glorify you abundantly. And we will remember you abundantly. And you are watching over us. So Musa alayhi salam appeals to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to appoint Harun alayhi salam, his brother, also as a prophet alongside of him and, uh, and make him a partner in this mission that he is being sent on. You know, a lot of times when we talk about a sign of manlyhood, or somebody being a tough guy, then you know it's like I work alone. I don't work with any partners. I'm a lone wolf. You know, this type of mentality is out there a lot of times. Well, Musa alayhi salam is a prophet of Allah, and he's even described as being as a prophet of Allah who is very strong, very manly, so to speak. All right, man's man, a tough guy. And he's asking for help. He's asking for support. He's asking for a partner on this mission. So it goes to show you that identifying the task ahead and realizing what you're going to need in your task is intelligence. And it does not contradict. If I'm going to need help, some support, and asking for that help and support does not contradict any type of ability or manliness or strength or courage, but it's intelligence. Now, another place in the Quran, in Surah Al Qasas, actually, Surah number 28, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about Musa alayhi salam making this request to Allah, ayah number 34 and 35 in Surah number 28. He says, Wa akhi Harun. Why did he specifically request Harun alayhi salam? So we're learning about Harun alayhi salam. Who was Harun alayhi salam? Obviously, he's the brother of Musa alayhi salam, so he says, Wazira min ahli. I need somebody I can trust, somebody I know. But secondly, why Harun alayhi salam? Wa akhi Harun, he says, my brother Harun, huwa afsahu minni lisanan. He is a lot more eloquent in speech than I am. He is a lot more well spoken than I am. He speaks much more clearly than, than I do. Afsahu minni lisanan. Fa arsilhu ma'iya. So he says, oh Allah, so send him with me. Yusaddiquni. He will help me communicate and make my point. He will back me up. Inni akhafu an yukadhibun because I'm afraid that these people might not listen to me. They might try to call me a liar and try to reject me. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Sanashuddu aduduka bi akhika. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that we will strengthen your arm through your Prophet. Meaning, we will give you the support that you need in order to carry out your task through your brother. We will make your brother your support. وَنَجَعَلُ لَكُمَا سُلْطَانًا and we will give both of you authority. We will appoint both of you as prophets of Allah. فَلَا يَصِلُونَ إِلَيْكُمَا And they won't be able to get to you. So we learn a little bit about Harun alayhi salam. He is very mature, very intelligent, very devout. And he's also extremely eloquent and well-spoken. And this kind of corroborates with some of the narrations that we know about Harun alayhi salam. That he was like a preacher, he was like a public speaker. And what was the outcome of this? So, so what is the lesson to take home from this? The lesson that we take from this is that anybody who is working for the deen, you know, anyone who is striving to make the world a better place, it's not so much about admitting what you can't do, but it's very important to understand, to identify, and recognize the talents that others have. And not be too arrogant to be able to admit somebody else is good at something that I'm not good at. That's very important. And then when you find people who have talents and who have abilities, who can contribute something valuable, valuable, identify it, admit it, recognize it, praise them for it, recruit them based on it. Because we have to understand at the end of the day, we're not in competition with each other. We're all on the same team. We're all on the same team. The team of Islam, the team of Allah, the team of the Messenger of Allah, the team of the Qur'an, the team of the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. We're all on team Islam. And so we don't have any type of these petty conflicts and beefs and arrogance and conceit and insecurities. We don't play these silly games. But we embrace each other. And we embrace each other's talents and abilities. And we facilitate people to be able to contribute and really be able to take the mission further through their talents and their abilities. And we see a great prophet of Allah, Musa alayhi salam, identify that in his brother Harun. He speaks better than I do, Ya Allah. Send him with me. Make him a partner in my mission. Harun alayhi salam, if we take a look at those narrations where he mentions that he's older than Musa alayhi salam, that means this is his younger brother. But he's not threatened by that. Musa alayhi salam is obviously the one in charge, the one who leads, the one who's holding the staff, the one who conducts all the miracles, but he, the one who goes to communicate with Allah on the mountain of Tur. But Harun alayhi salam is not intimidated by that. He's not looking to undercut him. He's not bothered by this. But he understands I have a contribution and he has a contribution. Because we're all working for the same goal at the end of the day. To please Allah, to serve the ummah of the Prophet wasallam, and to take this deen further. We need to keep that in mind. And when people are willing to work with each other and identify that, what's the benefit in that? The benefit is when Musa alayhi salam goes to the mountain of Thur and he comes back and he finds the people doing shirk and while that's a really bad thing, Harun alayhi salam practiced great wisdom while Musa alayhi salam was away and the shirk took place amongst Banu Israel, amongst the followers. Where he says, "Inni khashitu an taqula farraqta bayna bani Israel, walam tarqub qauli." I was afraid that you would say, "Inni khashitu an taqula farraqta bayna bani Israel," that you permanently divided the people, and you did not listen to what I told you. So Harun alayhi salam handled things so tact tactfully that he held things down until Musa salam could get back and settle the matter and the issue, but he did not create a civil war amongst Banu Israel. That wisdom came in handy when Musa salam was willing to admit he's talented and I need him, and Harun salam was willing to say he, he might be younger than me, than, but he's leading here, but they worked together. And together they were able to accomplish and achieve remarkable things. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about them in the Quran as well. So this is a story of the great Prophet Harun alayhi salam, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned by name multiple times. Uh, when, the, when, the, when the magicians, when the magicians fell into sujood and stated their iman in Allah in Surah Taha, they said, Rabbi Harun wa Musa. They said, we believe in the Lord, the Master, the Rabb of Harun and Musa. They said Harun before Musa. So Harun, Aaron, 
Harun alayhi salam is a great prophet of Allah. I just thought I'd share a little bit about him with you today here. Jazakumullah khairan. I hope everyone's benefiting inshallah from the stories of the prophets. Don't forget to uh, share this with family and friends. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be more like the great prophets and the messengers of Allah. Until next time, Quran Weekly. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.